Morning, guys. So yeah, this is this is uh, us, the band, and uh, basically we have been promising a Q and A for a little while, and if you sent in questions, and because of our current situation, um, being quarantined and all, like we decided we'd do it over Zoom. So, Ru, give us one activity that you've been doing since the lockdown. I've been doing some whittling and some some like painting and I've been learning uh, some magic. Yeah, hence the wizard cape. It's also really cold today, hence the wizard cape. How about you, Josh? What have you been up to? I've been writing songs, really, just trying to get back into being productive in that way. And reading some stuff I've been, I've had in a pile for a while. Um, and getting into running, really. That's about it. Proud what have you back. been up to, Sam? Um, oh, all sorts, man. I've been like doing lots of DIY at home, um, doing lots of yoga, and we just started our um, career in growing our own veg. Whoa! What are you going to uh, grow veg for people? Um, well, eventually that would be really nice. We're just kind of learning the ins and outs right now because there's a lot okay. to learn. Yeah. We should probably get down to yeah. <laughs> some other other questions. I'm going to ask the first question. Okay. This is from Alison Clawson. Doesn't say where she's from, but I imagine somewhere in America because she said, how did you all meet? I, so I met Josh like in London really early on when we were doing like starting music and both of us had just started and we played this gig called the Joy Exchange. And uh, Josh actually remembers more about this than me because he told me something that I said that was like really awful to him. Like, I, I came off stage uh, and you said something like, oh, that was, that was great. I'm a bit nervous to go on now. And then I said like, oh no, don't worry. Don't worry, you'll be great. And you're like, yeah, no, I was just kidding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or, some, or something like or that. I'm not sure why I said that. And Sam, I met a little bit later on, uh, in a sense through like family and friends and stuff. But yeah. I think the time that we uh, bonded musically uh, was probably the uh, the recording of Quiet Man, wasn't it, Sam? Dave Mandolin. And you came and kept me company in that in that cottage in Devon I found for like you, like alone, <laughs> half asleep in this weird cottage. Yeah, I was so lonely during that recording yeah. process, living in the middle of like nowhere on my own. Mm. And it was really great, like having more company. So that's where I feel like we ended up becoming like close mates from yeah. that. And obviously, like all the music stuff that we've done this last year and a half has been pretty. Yeah, it be kind of I don't know. You guys are more like brothers now than friends. Yeah. <laughs> Next question. What are your top three favorite moments slash memories? from working together? Hmm. There's so many good ones, to be honest. Like, I I would say actually recording this EP in, in Wales was really fun, in Mono Valley. Uh, just, it was really, it was just chilled, wasn't it? And there's just mm. a lovely place. And I thought we all had quite a lot of fun doing that. I but for some reason, I always think of Montreal. Like, when I think about, like, like tour early on, last year and i just think that's always the one that for some reason visually sticks out to me and then the, you know the autumn leaves and stuff then sammy and i went for a run around around montreal i always for some reason for me that was the really good memory montreal it was just the most orange and yellow looking place because all the leaves would hadn't fallen off yet but it was it like was really beautiful mm. we got quite obsessed with hot sauces on that trip yeah. i got I, that hot sauce that literally i couldn't feel anywhere apart from my eyebrows <laughs> and it was like <laughs> so intense on my eyebrow i don't know about you guys but actually that final show in amsterdam that was amazing for me yeah. like in terms of like a, a group feel i just felt like the end of such a long journey and i felt like it, i don't know about you but i felt like all of us were like on cloud nine about like how that all came together musically as well. In there should be Yosemite. Oh yeah. When we got to get we got to go there after playing in San Francisco. That that crystal clear freezing cold pool that we were all discussing whether we were gonna try and swim in it or not. And all like being like trying to be brave and also all terrified about how cold it was. 
and it was and and it was me getting in going ah, ah, ah. so many of these places they've all got something different that like sticks in your brain i think especially with traveling through america because as a band like traveling through america you just when you're from the uk or you just feel like you're in a movie all the time it's like yeah roads and like massive landscapes and it just was super inspiring yeah. and that was a, okay mm -hmm. next one bonus round where is this i want to say berlin mm, uh, no can't be be berlin because sam, sam wasn't even there sam wasn't, it was berlin course, sam. sam's correct next question from you and Charlie, which is the next single um he said, I saw two different teaser versions of this, this song on your Instagram. One sounded bigger and experimental, and the other more acoustic and tranquil. Which version, you, which version have you picked for the forthcoming release? What song was that? I didn't quite hear you. Uh, the the sun, sun Will Rise Over the Year. The Sun Will Rise Over the Year. So, I think out of the two that you will have heard, the version that we probably worked on is the uh, more upbeat one. I know what you mean in terms of like, um, I think I, I love making uh, thoughtful kind of pensive recordings. I like, I've always loved doing that. Um, and so that might feel like more me, but I was quite interested in, on this EP, just exploring a few other things that I haven't done before. Definitely got quite a lot of energy in it. That's one of my favorite moments is when Josh uh, comes in later on on the, on the guitar and you're like, I don't know how to do this when we're recording it. And you're like, oh. but you know, <laughs> yeah, like nearly knocked me over. <laughs> I think this whole EP has been like trying a lot of new things as well as like embracing some old things and feeling it out. Um, yeah. I mean, like we've never really used rhythm all that much. Like from like when we toured this year, we've used a lot more rhythm live than we have on recordings in the past. And um, I think after having spent that time touring with, you know, percussion and that kind of thing, I, I guess maybe that fed in a little bit to thinking about drums a bit more and stuff. So we've used that quite a lot more on this EP and on that song, especially and like trying to get used to that and like respect that as an instrument as well. Because I think in the past I've always thought, oh, it gets in the way of things for me. And I got nice. to hit the drums really hard. Yeah, you play the drums in it, don't you, Sam? Yes. Oh, Sam, do you remember I had a broken wrist at the time? I was in, oh, yeah. I was in plaster. I just had surgery. <laughs> it's definitely a different sound, a new sound. Yeah, it's different, but it's got it's definitely still got a lot of things in it that like make it in line with what I love. It's still very lyrical. It's still yeah. like, it's still quite um, in internal and pensive and stuff in the same way. So. Yeah, hopefully you'll like it. I've got a little game for you guys. Um, I'm going to share my screen. This. <laughs> oh, hold on. That was in, that was in Paris. Paris. Ding! Correct. There are so many teeth brushing photos. I like yeah. it. That's well, we got into it, didn't we? We got really into it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next, question. next picture. This one's more just for Ru, really. Um, because it's a curveball. But... Oh man, where's that? That's a van. Yeah. Who's that? Is that your van, Sam? My old van. It's your old van. Oh my word! Wait, that's from when we shot where we want to go, isn't it? In yeah. Cornwall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. That's cool. Okay. Next oh, question. Man. This is for you, Ru. Obviously, uh, from Hiago Goes in Sao Paulo. What makes you not give up on music? In your career, what was the moment when you really saw the power that music can have? Good question. Um, yeah, really good question. Uh, because it's something that obviously, like, I actually think about quite a lot in terms of like why why wouldn't you stop what makes you continue and that kind of stuff it's quite a personal one but i think that 
uh, it's an interesting one. Like when it comes to why don't I stop? I think it's because like part of me just feels like it is so me. Like it's so something that I that feels natural to who I am. Like I've never been trying to do it. You know, it's just something that I always have loved doing. And it's almost like my way of talking. Like even if I stopped releasing music commercially ever or like treating it as a career, I would always write because it's literally like my way of getting through life in a way. Um, but also, also, I think what I've come to love about music is that it really does exist beyond success and results and, and all that stuff. It really has like a, a value um, beyond all of that. Like, I love the fact that, like, there are people who might listen to a song and you can really, like, love them through it and really help them through it. And for me, that means that I, whenever I sit down to write a song, it's not like a kind of self-endeavor. Self it's actually something that I feel is worth doing. And for me in life, like, that makes me really happy. Um, and I think that is, like, kind of both of your questions in one is the sense that, like, realized quite early on that I wanted to write songs that are very honest and when I shared them I realized that actually that that kind of managed to communicate to people in their own situations and that was really really beautiful and I, I hope that that will always be the case but that's what keeps me writing and that's probably when I realized that um, music can be a lot more powerful and that you should kind of put aside the, the idea of like how's it going to go like how big is it going to be like, I think that can get that can make you treat music a lot more cheaply than it actually is. And I think it can be a really beautiful thing in life, like if you can focus on it the right way. But, okay. I hope that has been in some way enlightening. Sorry if we've prattled on and chatted like too much about random stuff, but um, but yeah, thank you for your questions. And we will probably do another one quite soon. So um, if you do have any more questions. Um, send them in to admin at rupains.co.uk um, and we'll answer a few more. <laughs> I really hope you're all well. Yeah, we hope you guys are well, help. staying safe. It's a weird time for everyone, but we can get through it together. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, there's already a few questions that, that we haven't got around to answering, sorry, but we'll, we'll address those as well. And uh, yeah, so good to see you guys. Thanks, <laughs> Thanks for tuning in. in. Hang out, Josh and Sam. And Bye. Uh, soon.